Animal, how you doing? Take off, girl. I'm okay. Um, Mum Squig dropped off a, a massive care package of food this morning, so we've got pasta and rice. Um, we have lots of stuff. It, it's it's cool. It's cool. Just gonna check, is everything coming through okay? Because uh, this is the first time I've done a proper um, stream for my Twitch. For Switch, even. Stream is fairly quiet. Okay. Uh, the game's a bit quiet. Okay. Um, I will turn it up a tiny bit. It's mostly just music at the minute, so. Is that better? Beautiful. So yeah, I figured uh, Slow and I went to bed really, really late last night because um, I was up till about two trying to get stuff ready for the charity stream that me and my friends are doing. I'm still a bit quiet, am I? Okie dokie. Let me see if I can fix that. Turn it up a little bit. How's this? Yes, indeed, kinky boots. Um, so, slow is still comatose, as far as I'm aware. And, uh, yeah, I, I got up really late. Um, I need to go put that in my lost and found. Oh, yeah, it's all for a good cause, definitely. It's just... Uh, really tiring setting it all up because we had the crazy idea of streaming it via twitch and via discord at the same time so that the people that are actually involved in the party get their own version of it hey 
Clyde. I really like his raincoat. Right, what was I doing? I was fishing, that's what I was doing. Um, but I need to empty my pockets first. So... CJ is on my island today, which means that I can basically sell any fish that I catch for double what they're normally worth. Uh, CJ's super cute, and he's dating my favourite character, uh, a chameleon called Flick, who is like a little punk rock chameleon, and they are just the cutest little social media couple. Flick is best boy. He's absolutely adorable, and he loves bugs as much as I do, so of course I love him. Right, I'm just going to empty my pockets, and then I'll give you guys a tour of my house. Because that's what you do in this game, isn't it, really? World's judgiest fish name. these in storage? No, I can't. I'll just have to carry them. Oh no! I put the wrong umbrella away. I need to get give that to Blavis as well. I don't have a hoarding problem. Uh, how do you increase inventory space? Uh, you get more inventory space by going to the town hall. Um, also, hi Kian. Um, you, go, you go to the town hall and you can redeem increased inventory space by um, going to the Nook Miles counter and uh, there's a, a thing in there. I think it's called something like Pocket Organisation or something like that, and you read it and somehow it makes your pockets bigger. <laughs> a fishing stream. Yes, it will be a bit of a fishing stream. Um, but first, here's all my bugs. Yes, uh, if you're still working out of the tent key and you won't have access to that yet, I don't think. I mean, Nook's tent does have the Nook Miles thing in it, but I don't think you get the pocket organisation stuff until after it turns into a town hall. Um, I don't really remember if I'm honest with you. I've done a lot of time traveling to move buildings around and stuff over the last couple of days and now time is just a figment of my imagination in this game. Yeah, uh, that's what it says, goth girl. It's something like that. It's like, oh, I, I understand how to organise my pockets now. Uh, yes, you can time travel. You're not supposed to. It's kind of cheaty pants. But I object to having to wait 24 hours to move a building so that I can then move another building 24 hours later. Ooh, Discord noises. Why are Discord noises? Ah, okay. Apparently streamer mode decided not to engage itself. So we're just gonna... Bye, Discord. Oh, and you may get some dog licking noises because Porthos is licking his paws when he's not supposed to be. Stop it. Stop licking your paws or they'll fall off. They will. <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> Why Discord noises? Discord is gone. Discord is dead. Long live Discord. It's haunting me. Uh, yes, uh, Kian, you, you change the clock on the switch. Um, you have to, if you go backwards, you have to go backwards, reopen the game, save, and then go back to the present day. Reopen the game, and then the things that you want to time travel for will be done, because they've updated it recently so that you can't just travel backwards in time all the time. Um, <laughs> Discord is with Prime B now. Hi, Minnie. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know why it's doing that. You're going to have to give me a second. Please uh, enjoy my storage while I kill it a bit more. There. Discord, I have quit you. Right. Shouldn't hear any more Discord noises now. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Right, where were we? Um, ah, yes. So, behold, my bugs. I have a speed idea. Um, a pill bug. Some bagworms. I'm saving those for Flick. Um, I've also got some wasps. I'm saving some of those for Flick. And a tiger beetle. What I'm actually here for should be in here, I think. Yeah, there we go. I want my umbrella. Because it's raining outside. I don't have any tarantulas because I sold them all to Flick last time he was here. Have you just sent me a a PM or something on uh, Discord just to check Manimal. Hey Hans! You finally got your wish, look! It's an Animal Crossing stream, as promised. <laughs> How dare I imply such a thing, indeed. Look, I'm a Totoro! A very green Totoro. Right, what was I doing? Need to give that to Blathers. <laughs> oh, sod off, Minnie. It's beautiful. Let's catch a fish. Fishing stream! And because Easter's over, it's not an egg. Yes. I was going to give you a tour of my house, wasn't I? Ah well. I'll do that after I've uh, done some fishing. And you get like a mini tour of my island as well. And you get to enjoy all these wonderful fishing ponds. Oh yeah, uh, Zipper is a pain in the arse. He really is. Um, there's a couple of times, uh, f for those that don't play Animal Crossing and haven't encountered Zipper as a result, Zipper is totally a bunny rabbit, definitely not a guy in a costume, um, and he is the Easter Bunny, and he hides eggs all over your island, like in the trees and in the water and in the rocks and in the ground, so you think you're digging up a fossil and you're actually um, digging up a fucking chocolate egg. Zipper is straight out of a fucking budget horror film. Um, Zipper is his name. Uh, it's not like a, a silly nickname. Uh, he's got this massive zipper on the back of his um, personage because he's not in a suit. He says so. He's very, very serious about that. Um, but yeah, there's ways to make him break character. Like, yesterday evening I kept running up to him after I'd done all of the stuff he wanted me to do and just talking to him and he eventually just went kid what do you want um, and he's always hopping about when you're looking at him but if you bring up your camera and leave it trained on him and then walk off screen he stops hopping about and he sort of huffs and puffs for a little bit and some of my villagers have noticed it as well. It's really funny. He's trying so hard, bless him. It's probably a shit minimum wage job. And everybody hates him. Uh, if you go into the settings, uh, Kian, and you go right down to the bottom where it says system, there is um, a date time setting. And if you take off the synchronization with the internet uh, you can manually edit the date and the time ah I see we have a purist in chat uh, goth girl 
Not a big fan of the uh, time travelling, huh? Okay, everyone, get ready for my least favourite pun in the entire fucking game. <laughs> Goth girl is a time travel purist go um, goblin. Is confirmed. Yeah, it, it's not exactly a good pun. Fish! I'm gonna catch a little fishy. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be uh, a play on the flavour vanilla, because it's a manila clam. Um, but yeah, it, it's just... It's, it's a shit pun. Who said anything about me being immortal, Hans? I'm totes Time Lord material. <laughs> Put the squid friend back. Why are we putting the squid friend back? very true goth girl and when we do we go down in a blaze not necessarily a blaze of glory just ju just a blaze no we're, we're going to give squid friend to cj and cj is going to take it home and show it to flick and they're both going to be super happy because one of them's got a fuck ton of tarantulas and the other one's got a fuck ton of fish I kind of hope they met at like an Addicts Anonymous um, group. Or on an episode of Hoarders. Oh, not fish. Well, that's disappointing. Because Flick is a tarantula addict, goth girl. <laughs> I don't know, Minnie. I still haven't figured that out myself. I think it's the fish in the river taking the piss. Actually, no. Let's go see if Mira's making anything. I like to get uh, recipes for stuff. Pretty sure this is Mira's house. It is! I remembered. So this is Mira, everyone. I think she's a Power Ranger. The music's kind of backing me up on that one. Aww, that's quite sweet of her to say. <laughs> Powerpuff Bunny, yes. Wow, everybody's gone inside. It's almost like it's raining outside. Um, I think Mira is the only animal that wears like a Power Ranger outfit, but you can get all of the Power Ranger costumes. Oh, um, my town jingle is the uh, Lavender Town opening. If anybody noticed that and was like, why does that sound familiar? Exactly, Goth Girl. All they've got to do is put on their big coat. <laughs> I think I just got called out by a cat on the amount of time I spent on Animal Crossing yesterday. Fuck you, Mitzi. Eh? 
And if you wear a white t-shirt in the rain, you might get money thrown at you. Oh, Clyde's still out. See, he's sensible. Yeah, Mitzi is kind of mean, which is funny, because one of my mum's cats is called Mitzi, and she is mean. <laughs> also always gets fleas, and Mitzi is my one islander that is always getting fleas. There's Blue Bear. Oh, look at her umbrella, that's so cute. Mine's better. Hey, Blue Bear. That is a sinister way to think about puddles. Yeah, Clyde's fab. I like Clyde. You're getting to learn about all of my other Animal Crossing friends right now. Oh, that's good. Hey, Clyde. Aww, he's so sweet. <laughs> so cute. Can he? Who have we got here? Is this Kevin's house? I think this is Kevin's house. It is, and Kevin's crafting something. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> oh, he's crafting the same thing he was when I talked to him earlier. That's a shame. So I like Kevin. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's definitely a horse goth girl, but I think... Uh, Every horse has a little bit of ass in them. Okay. So, bye Kevin. We'll leave Kevin be. Because he's still making whatever it was that I got the recipe for off of him. Yes, I can't remember who that was now. Hello, Inquisitor. So we're going to visit my favourite animal now. I hope he never leaves the island, because he's a sweetheart. Hi, Dizzy. First off, he's fucking adorable. Just look at him. Look how cute he is and how happy he is. <laughs> Aww. So, it's nice, isn't it? I made this for Dizzy when he moved to the island. And I gave him this fish, and look, he's got it on display. Isn't that cute? Uh, yeah, so Dizzy's my favourite, because he's just, he's such a little sweetheart. Um, he's proper himbo material. Um, but also he takes no shit, so Blue Bear really wants to be a pop star, it's all she fucking talks about, and it's actually kind of annoying sometimes, and they were having a conversation once, and Blue Bear stormed off because uh, Dizzy said, you know, you have to have talent to become a pop star, right? Hi Spike. So Spike is the newest uh, addition to my island um, and he moved from one of my friend's islands <laughs> and she was really upset with me because Spike was her favourite. I have lots of the good boys on my island. Do I have anything to sell? Nah, not really. So this is a, 
little plaza that I've built, shopping district, if you will. Somebody's left a book out here in the rain. Careless. I got this out of a tree, this little organ. I've got a fountain, because every good town has a fountain. Oh, I forgot about Lyman. Hi, Lyman. Pro tips from Lyman. I haven't actually been into the town hall today. Behold my flag. We could At least they didn't leave a cake out in the rain. Yeah, fair play. I don't think that was there before. If it was, I didn't notice it. Sometimes when you come in here, Isabel is uh, spraying the tulips on her desk and then sniffing them, and it's really quite cute. And sometimes she falls asleep at her desk because I don't talk to her often enough. have enough for a solar panel no I do not we'll be leaving that until later let's see what music we've got in the store today yeah I've not seen barrel before uh, PM yeah, I bet she is dreaming about being Doom Guy. Or dreaming about going home and playing Doom. Ooh, a pull up bar. I bet Kevin would really like that. Oh, okay. <gasps> Bubblegum! Yes, I don't have this one yet. <clears throat> Okay, so there are 99 different KK Slider songs. Some of them you can only get at certain points during the year. Others randomly turn up in this one slot in the daily shopping section. Ooh, yeah, E1M1 would be a really, really good choice for um, the town tune. I was originally going to go with the um, opening bars of the Metal Gear Solid theme, but um, anyone that knows me and my Pokemon habits well enough um, knows that I am a total hex maniac, so Lavender Town was uh, a little bit more me. Right. So I've done the, the, the sort of busy work bit now, so let's catch some fish and go give them to that delightful little fellow over there. Oh, and we'll pick this up too. Hmm. Uh, I think you get two bars worth. Oh, bugger. I twitched. Oh, hey, Holly Rose. Also, enjoy your shower, Minnie. So I've made my island really really organized and put like fences and stuff up but that also means that i now can't get to half of the river whoopsie fish <sighs> seriously the puns in this game are painful to say hi to Colton yet. 
And of course he's hiding in his house, because uh, you'll see. This is Colton. This is Colton's house. He's uh, a little on the bougie side. Thank you, Holly Rose. Um, it is two real world days worth of um, time traveling, building, moving, and road construction. Um, definitely worth it though, because now everything's sort of tidy and pretty, and I've got little paths and stuff. And I got signs. Oh, yeah, uh, this, this is my orchard. Complete with. Uh, little floor icons in case I shake all the fruit out of all of the trees. Um, there is a mole cricket somewhere over there. And that's really going to bug me. I'm not going to bother hunting for it though because it'll be like fucking mouse hunt but with a cricket. I really want to get a snapping turtle or five so I can put them outside my house they can be my guard turtles another boot I can make myself a pair of shoes now Yeah, the cherry blossom stuff is a pain in the arse, Holly Rose, because um, the cherry blossom season starts at the exact same time as the Easter event starts. So half of the stuff that you'll get in terms of recipes will be bloody Easter stuff, and it will be duplicates. Yeah, my own Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles key, and that's exactly what I want. I knew I could hear a balloon. Hey, Zathia. Come on. Damn it. There we go. What did I get? Clay! That shit. Ah, well. <laughs> yes, how magnanimous of the sky gods. Well, that was badly aimed. I think it's because I'm sat at an angle to the screen and it's throwing me off with my coordination. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. There we go. Come on, fishy. I'm gonna catch a little fishy. <gasps> Seahorse! Get rid of. Ooh. I might keep that and see if I can catch two more for next time CJ visits. Yep. <laughs> Seahorse, of course, of course. Oh, look, another mackerel. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, 
hungry fish. <gasps> oh, snapper. Oh, um, thank you for the liking of the hat, Cecilia. I didn't see that before. Very intensely watching the fish. Like all good fisher people. Clownfish. Neat. Uh, this is my uh, rain gear. So, actually. This is my normal outfit. Um, this is my summer gear. Um, this is what I wear when I'm crafting. Yeah, exactly. Who wants to get their hair wet? Um, not that it really matters in here. This is my Doctor Who look. And my bargain basement tuxedo mask look. Um, we've got a few spaces left, so I'll do that in a minute. And if I want to go to bed, I'm going to sleep well. Anyway, back into the raincoat. It is the squig wide shot look. Damn it. My aim is terrible today. Mm -hmm. Go on, fishy. Don't be a tire. Please don't be a tire. Ooh, knife jaw. I'm really liking the actually catching fish. Hey, RNG, how you doing? Wolf <sighs> roaches. Uh, there we go. Wolf roaches are a pain in the arse when you're trying to catch tarantulas. Yeah, the barred, barred knife jaws are kind of cool. They look cool and they have a cool name. Um. Oh, hello other big fish. Nope. flounder. To be fair to Theo, that's um, a large portion of any Animal Crossing game. I mean, I kind of like the making the island pretty, or making the town pretty side of things as well. I, uh, when I play The Sims, I literally just build really nice houses and then don't do anything else. Oh no! I overfished. Good timing though. Let's go and see CJ. And actually, let's... Uh... Exactly, Manimal. That's all The Sims is for. It's not actually a game, it's a house and a uh, like family designer. But there is no game after that. You just design the things and then you leave. If I drop all my turnips here... I can't put these in my storage because I have to sell them. Um, uh, 
uh, for context, in this game, every Sunday, a little piggy comes to your island with a basket full of turnips and sells them to you for a set rate. Um, and then every other day of the um, week, you can sell those turnips onto um, the nooklings, the little tanukis that run the shop, for a different rate. This is called, and I shit you not, the stork market. Aww. Just gonna screen cap him enjoying the magnificence of the snail. Before I catch it. Um, so I, I made quite a lot of money by literally gaming the stock market the other day. Um, one of my friends was um, her, her island was already set to Sunday and uh, they were selling the turnips for like 103 bells each and one of my other friends had um, a turnip buy, uh, buy value of 550 bells each I think so we were all going to the one island to get the turnips and then going to the other island to sell them and I made like three million bells paid off most of my mortgages and it paid for the entire remodel of this island as well oh I have enough snails to have a snail model from Flick next time he visits awesome it's all coming up millhouse right let's go and see blathers first because I have a fish I need to give him and I don't want to accidentally give it to CJ Oh, this is my discovery garden. You can't get arrested for insider trading, which is grand because, yeah, we've all just committed stork fraud. Um, and I'm okay with that. Okay, so this is... I haven't finished my uh, discovery walk yet because I want to put some sort of ocean dwelling uh, fossils and fish and stuff like that on the beach but so we've got like a nice little pool the, the beach keeps squirting because there's clams under the sand yeah, I'll show you there we go a little bit of squirty sand clam Yes, it's the beach's clams rather than the beach itself. Though I'm sure the beach is very excited. Right, so... I'm missing a piece for this particular um, fossil, so... Looks a bit weird at the minute. We've got a nice little bench where people can sit and, like, eat their sandwiches or whatever. And, uh stone tablet nice little globe and little uh, pond stone and then we've got some fossils and an old style water pump and the retro rocket that I found in a tree <laughs> disembodysaurus I like that um, this one's finished unfortunately I can't swivel the camera around to the side so you can see it better um, another globe there. Some more fossils. Come on. There we go. That's pretty cool, I think. And uh, an old style well. A um, mantis figurine that Flick made for me. Which I was going to keep in my house, and then I decided it'd look really nice in here. Oh, and more fossil. Um, and then over here, we've got a nice little bonfire. Just there we go. Oh. And a tap, because it's important to wash your hands when you've been on the beach. 
and probably everything else as well. Oh, shit, yes, I left the tap running. There we go. Sorry. Oh, right, yeah, I don't have a fishing rod right now. I forgot. Okay, let's go and visit Blathers. And then that that's the sort of conclusion of my discovery walk. We've got some more cool fossils up here. And a nice little archway that leads to the museum. I'm sorry, Blathers. I have to wake you up. Fish! Okay, so whether I want to hear his spiel or not, and whether you guys do or not, I'm gonna have to because I don't want to upset him. Like even he, Blathers absolutely despises insects, but even if you give him an insect, he will tell you a bit of factual information about the insect and then continue to rant about how disgusting it is. And look how happy he is. Look at his happy little Burbo face. <laughs> I love blathers. Fish facts? Let's see. Ooh! Should we get some uh, fish facts about the barred knife jaw? I'm gonna say yes. Yes, I have a zebra turkey fish as well. Oh, he's so cute. The knife sure is a well hard bruiser of a fish, particularly fond of mugging smaller fish. Right. Would you folks like to see my museum? I'm aware this is kind of a spoiler for you, Kian. So, uh, if you want. And I will um, let you know when we're done exploring the museum. Oh, he's gone back to sleep. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go bug section first. In we go. roaming beetle. Hmm. Oh, I bet that'll be like cicadas and stuff like that. Ah, yes, my precious. I love Atlas Moths. 
I got to see some in person at a uh, insect house that I went to for my birthday a couple of years ago and it was the fucking best. They are so beautiful. Yeah, they're, they're huge, Sophia. Oh, Hans, I'm sorry to hear that. It always sucks when people don't clean up after themselves. I feel like I'm kind of following this um, beetle around like some sort of entomology-based version of Alice in Wonderland. Oh, I bet that's gorgeous, Sophia. Where's the honeybee? Ah, there's the honeybee. Look at it go. Oh, now it stops. <laughs> Hit me. Um, when you catch those, it says, it looks like my uncle. Which is funny, because it does actually look a bit like my uncle. The Raja Brooks bird wing up there. So some of the stuff that's um, sort of around, like the koi there and these butterflies. Uh, so that's a, an emperor butterfly. Um, are actually in different parts of the museum. Um, but what they've done for this one is you can actually sort of explore it like it's a natural habitat rather than oh spider warning hey spidey where's my tarantula oh wait no i know where my tarantula is we'll get to him in a minute so go this way giant water bugs they do not give a shit about anything it just says spider. Um, I think they've gone with interesting colours just so it's... Uh... <laughs> no! Leave blathers alone. The butterfly room! My favourite room. I like butterflies. That's the peacock butterfly. The one that's flying in front of my head now. Tiger butterfly, which we saw a minute ago. Yes, pretty flap flaps. Um, and then over here, we've got the common butterfly, the little white one with the dots. And the yellow butterfly, which is also reasonably common. The emperor butterfly, as I mentioned before. The common blue bottle. Uh, the Agrius butterfly. They fly really fucking fast in the wild as well, so it's uh, hard to catch them. And a ladybug, just for good measure. And snail. Hey, snail friend. The Madagascan sunset moth. That is such a beautiful moth. Like, butterflies are cool, but I love moths. And there's the Roger Brooks birdwing. And look, another koi. Oh, did not know you could sit on that. That's nice. Right. So, oh yeah, there's the little pill bug next to the can. And the centipede's hiding under the log. And your common old garden variety moth. Yeah, there's some really nice bug farms in the UK. There's the orchid mantis, like I've got the model of out front. Nothing in there yet. I wonder what that'll be. Yeah, it probably would, Manimal. Um, I think they've done a reasonably good job of keeping stuff 
in a way that it would be in an actual um, display. But um, I guess for space reasons, they've probably not done it perfectly accurately. There's my tarantula. I mean, the tarantulas aren't particularly bloody accurate because um, they're all really aggressive and most tarantulas aren't actually like that. That'll be a scorpion, I'd wager. And probably something else considering the size of the case. There's the wharf roaches. And the hermit crab, which is hermiting while it hermits. long locust the long long locust if you will and I, I, I fucking love this so I've been in um, one of these sort of incubation environments and I just I love that they put one in here hey look it's a flea I wondered where they were going to keep them They are very big fleas. They are mutant junky fleas. So that's the um, insect garden. All done. Maybe they're actually experimenting on the fleas. Trying to make them bigger. Because it wasn't that big when I caught it. I'm going to do fossils next. Because I love the fossil section. First time I came through here I was just like... Oh, Radioactive fleas, yes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Fleas. It is a happy game, goth girl. I just inject a bit of dystopia into everything I do. Not intentionally, most of the time. Yeah, fair play. Um, row, row. Oh, there we go. My uh, Joy-Con disconnected itself very, very briefly then, so I stopped, but I was trying to walk forward. Oh, I didn't look at any of the placards in there. I'll go back. No running in the hallway. Yeah, uh, I uh, I have been basically ignoring slow for the last four days and just playing Animal Crossing at every given opportunity. That's why I have so many fossils. Yeah, I, I'm I'm quite proud of the amount of dead things I have collected. I'm also quite proud of the amount of living things I've collected. No dying things yet. Mm, depends on your definition of dying, I suppose. Isn't that the best kind of animal? A 
MacGuffin Island is the answer to your questions, Athea. This is very true, Inquisitor, and I do have a piece of amber with a mosquito in it in the other room, so... Uh... Yeah, the geology of this island is completely mental, Manimal, you're right. But it's fun! Oh, um, the fucking coprolite, hang on. So when I... Can I... Uh... Is it just gonna... Hang on. There it is. So... When I got the coprolite, I dropped it on the floor and Slow was watching me play and said, what is that? Is it just a pile of shit? And I can kind of see where he's coming from. So what you're saying is, Manimal, I should have just played the Indiana Jones game some more because it would have been just as historically accurate, right? Yep. That explains why it looks like shit. Thank you. Oh, we've got more. But wait, there's more. I'm cool with it. I know very little about fossils. Um, I am not a paleontologist. I am a bug person. I like it to bugs. But as you can probably tell, this is like uh, uh, a, a red flag to a bull for manimal. <laughs> I don't know, Manimal. You tell me. No such thing as a saber-toothed tiger. That's a shame. You know, I bet when I completed it, Blathers probably said something about how they're not actually called that, but... the end of the fossil section. When you say empty, you mean in terms of uh, people visiting it? Fish section? Yeah. Um, so occasionally you'll see your villagers pottering about in here. And if you invite a load of people over to your island, then they might come in here if they want to. <laughs> I didn't for a second think that's a Theo. <laughs> Today's fish is trout a la creme. I'm glad I'm not the only one that does that. Thank you, goth girl.
crawfish. But what don't move around, manimal? I mean, some stuff does. Yeah, so some of the fish move about, like the ones that we're looking at at the minute, but yeah, some of them are a little bit placid, I guess. Do I have anything in here yet? Oh, that'll be the shark tank, won't it? Blathers wouldn't do that, Goss girl. He's a good boy. He only cares about science and destroying all insects. I like how I caught one anchovy and all of a sudden there's loads of them. I think he's always sleeping. He doesn't sleep at night time. He's an owl. It's what he do. Oh yeah, I like this. There's a little diving display. don't know Theo um you used to be able to dive in the older ones I don't know if they've gotten rid of it it seems like they have because I haven't got access to it yet and I've for want of a better description finished the game so <sighs> because I'm awesome that's why got stuff down here but we'll do that later because we can go that way okay Whoop. can we go in here we can Ooh. I'm just going the the most backwards way possible around this place Um, no, he's not had sleep bickies today, uh, cause we've run out. Um, he has not long since had his breakfast, um, cause he was feeling a little bit snuggly this morning rather than hungry. Um, and his antihistamines have kicked in, so he's just snoozing. And he really needs them at the minute. He went out in the garden the other day and I hadn't given them to him yet and his nose was streaming which was adorable, but um, not really good for him. Off it goes under the stairs. Turkey fish. And that's the museum. Bye, Blathers. It's still raining. Um. <laughs> 
Okay, cyborg. That's cool. I really need to actually put some time into Death Stranding. But the last time I tried to... Oh, thunder. Um, the last time I tried to play it, um, my PlayStation sounded like it was about to take flight, so I had to turn it off. Um... Pay no attention to what you think you see behind the leaf. Um, yeah, I, I will take you to Godzilla in a minute. This is my flower garden. I'm trying to breed different colours and stuff. In a minute. Uh, this is my Zen garden. I think this is quite cool. Hang on. Uh, nope. Stop it. There we go. Ta da! Um, we're not gonna make any assumptions about where that's coming from or going to. It's magic. What the flying fuck is it? Um, is that in reference to the hearth or in reference to the, the magical bamboo? It's glowing. Um, that'll be this then. This is a bamboo doll that um, is a reference to the... Um, story of Princess Kaguya which uh, Studio Ghibli did a film about which is a really fucking good film um, so it's, it's like the Japanese version of Thumbelina um, except it's been around longer than Thumbelina and it also involves aliens I highly recommend you check it out <laughs> It's largely considered one of the earliest works of uh, science fiction, which is kind of cool. Right, so I need to go and make myself a new fishing rod. And we're back at my house with my mini orchard. And my telescope, stargazing. And my freaky fucking tanuki figure, which I saw in my crafting list and went, I must have one. Um, so yeah, freaky tanuki. And some more flowers. Oh, a balloon! Yes! Be something good. Oh, a leaf pile. I wonder what that's made of. I'm guessing leaves. Oh, hey, Longfang! That's a. Uh... One hell of a way to drop by. Um, oh no, he does, I think. I think they've just decided not to define them particularly well. For safety's sake. This is a family game. I think they are under his skirt, yes. So this is my living room. I have a ship and a bottle and a switch. <laughs> oh, you're a lurker, I see. Hmm. Come on. There we go. So, yes, living room, complete with Katatsu. I thought you'd like that, goth girl. Uh, this is my kitchen. I 
finally have a fridge. Um, this is my bathroom, which is the newest addition to the house and therefore is a bit of a shit heap at the minute. It's a hodgepodge of stuff. I've got a shower. Which I won't leave running because Sophia will tell me off again. Um, and this ugly ass uh, dressing table. Yeah, I haven't got a drain yet. You can get them. Um, but yeah, I've not got one yet. So. This is... This is like a study, basically, where I do my science experiments. <laughs> um, all my books and boop. a matryoshka. All the home comforts. No, never on the match for Oscars. This is my uh, games room slash train room um, slash gym. Because it's important to have somewhere to exercise. Yes, it's fab, isn't it? One of my friends sent it to me and I will love them forever. I need to get a, a nice big table to put my board game on and then another bookshelf so that it looks more like our actual game room. How do you plant flowers? Um, so if you've just got the flower heads, you can't plant those. You have to dig up the entire flower and then your only option is to plant them uh, when you select them in your menu. Um, if you've got bags of flower seeds, I think you can just uh, interact with the flower seeds in your pocket and it'll say plant. Yep, that's um, that's the sort of end of Princess Kaguya. Um, animal. This is my favourite room. This is my bedroom. I spent a lot of time making this pretty. This is the bedroom I've always wanted. <laughs> um. So I've got posters of best girl and best boy. That's Isabel and um, Rossetti. Digby's all right, but I miss Rossetti so much. Such an angry little fellow. And I know I want wallpaper like this in real life as well. I used to, um, at my mum's house, have um all of these little like glow in the dark stars that I'd stuck to the ceiling and I'd put them in constellation patterns so that I could look at the stars at night. I like the flooring as well because like it's sort of misty cloudy magic. I've got a little TV. It's pink but that's the only one that I could get. And an Animal Crossing switch because I saw it in the catalogue and had to have it. Yeah, so that's my house. Um, right, I need to make a fishing rod. Ooh. Need stuff out of my inventory first. Wrong way. What are you intensely envious of, goth girl? Do we need wood? Ah, uh, yes, I'm intensely envious of my bedroom as well. I wish my actual bedroom looked like that. Wish it was as bloody big as that. Nope. Stop it. Ah, bugger. Can't do that in here. Put it away. Yes, I should craft something.
too big for your liking. Mm, I think the um, the living room that I'm in at the minute is a nice size because you've got enough space to place stuff and not get stuck. The bedroom being the entire top floor is a bit too much, but I've kind of made it into two separate spaces just with the same wallpaper. Let's have a closer look at that tanuki, seeing as we can do that in here. Oh, that's new. Tulip surprise box. The name makes me nervous. Oh, it's a wardrobe. Okay. All right, then. It is not a flowery loot box. This isn't pocket camp. There will be no loot boxes here, thank you. Right, let's have a closer look at this raccoon figure. Yeah, I think that um, sort of amorphous blob is probably his balls and they've just... Uh, uh, they call tanukis in the Western version of this raccoons because they think that Westerners don't know what tanukis are. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that thing between his toes is his balls and it's been deliberately made to look a little bit less ball -sacky. I wonder if it's like that in the Japanese version. Hmm. You're right, Minnie. It doesn't look anything like uh, a raccoon. <laughs> oh, thanks, goth girl. Robot hero. I really want to make one, but it requires a load of stuff that I don't have. Quite a lot of iron. Shit, that's going to take me ages to work up to. Right, now I have a fishing rod again. Um, oh, let's put the snails in storage so I don't accidentally give those to anybody. Um, put the iron and the clams in storage as well. Oh, and the boots, because we don't want those. Clay from the Sky Gods. There we go. Better. So what I was planning on doing with the robot mini, I will show you in a moment if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to. Mm. Uh, right. So if I... Secret found. Hi, Godzilla. Yeah, I thought as much, Goth Girl. Because I have seen one of those statues before and it's uh, normally a lot more detailed than that. So this is uh, my... I think it's just called a giant monster statue in the catalogue. This is my Godzilla statue. And I decided I would put him on the sand of this uh, little hidden beach, gazing out across the horizon, wondering if he'll ever go home. <laughs> and what I want to do is put the giant robot next to him. Yep, it's Gojira looking longingly into the distance. Occasionally he spits fire, so maybe he's just got really bad acid. You can't get a robo giant monster, and I am really upset about that. Because everybody knows that Mechagodzilla's the best. Ah, yes, this is the bit of my path that I uh, never bothered to finish. Yeah, it is really disappointing. 
Um, I mean, again, I like moths. I'm all for a, a mothra, but I'm pretty sure I won't get that either. Well, really, any would be an improvement on none, Mini. Roach is underneath my wind turbine. Shoo! Come on, get lost. There we go. Fish! Goody. Another mackerel. I hear it, but I don't see it. There's a, a gentle whooshing sound that usually indicates a, a balloon is nearby. Come on. There we go. That's close enough. Come on, little fishy. That looks like two fish in the same spot. Oh, there we go. Oh, bugger. I got eager. World's worst fishing person. Not out of ten. Still can't see that bloody balloon. Ooh, big fish. Hello, big fish. Please don't be a tyre. Graphically. Not a tire. Yes. Thank you, Zatheo. And that's a good reminder my hair's getting wet. There we go. Now, back to fishing. Another big fish. Sorry, Mr. Snail. Nope. Got its butt. Please be a snapping turtle. Mm. Okay. Let's try it from this angle. Found the balloon though. Oh, sorry, snail. About here? Nope. Oh, yay! More clay. That's what I've always wanted. Now I can build another tanuki. I just realised my fishing rod's clipping through my hat. Fabulous. Ooh, this one's hungry. Oh. It's a can. <laughs> My hat has a special rod hole. 
Thanks, goth girl. That one's gonna live with me forever. It is not the most metal of all fish. We have already established that that is the barred knife jaw. Tell you what. Hey, CJ. Anglosona. Oh my. So CJ is a Twitch streamer, or the Animal Crossing equivalent of a Twitch streamer, at any rate. Um. Which is kind of cute, I think. <laughs> Thanks, goth girl. Uh, see if I can get him to talk about his partner again. <laughs> Fish don't know I'm wet. <sighs> oh dear. Ah. So the first time I spoke to him about collectibles he was telling me how awesome and talented his partner is. Um, and how he only normally works on insect figures, but if um, CJ asks nicely enough, he'll make um, fish ones as well. It's just so cute. It's not going to eat it, is it? Nope. This bit of river is a little small for this. Should have known. <sighs> so yeah, I'll do a little bit more fishing and um Bye Holly Rose, thanks for joining us. Enjoy your lunch. Yeah, I'll do, a, uh, I'll do a little bit more fishing and then I'll either... <laughs> that bass was awful, it didn't even come with strings. Yeah, exactly, it's the worst kind of bass. Best not to think about it, goth girl. Um, yeah, I can either buzz up a bit more Indiana Jones and flail at it by myself, or, um, I don't know, could do something else, I suppose. Or I could just continue to fish until you are all so sick of the same fish puns over and over again that you beg me to stop. I could come and visit your island if you want, Hans. I could play a better point and click. In fact, I would love to play a better point and click, but I've committed to this now, haven't I? I mean, unless the general consensus is that Indiana Jones is so, so terrible that I am permissed to not finish playing it. Because I would totally go for some Monkey Island or, um... No, I'm good, thanks, goth girl. You want to talk moon logic? 
Jeez. Eesh. And anyway, um, Longfang and Wib are playing that, so... Uh, put it this way graphically, it was the third ever game to be released on the engine it was released on, and that engine is old. Um, so they hadn't really ironed out the, the kinks yet. Yeah, it took two streams to get out of a library. Yeah, I am really sorry about yesterday. Um, I actually said a load of stuff about um, how I'd do this today and um, how we needed to reset our router and stuff and none of that ended up on the, uh, on the Twitch stream. So I'm guessing you folks were all really confused until I tweeted and said that I was going to be doing this. So sorry about that. A sea bass, the other kind of annoying fish. I can hear it again. It's really bugging me. Oh, hey, Colton. Cute umbrella. Balloon. And now we wait. Yeah, I know it wasn't my fault, Manimal, but... I still feel kind of bad about unintentionally leaving you all in the lurch there. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> Too early on that one. There we go. have one of those. It's that thing. Though mine's uh, mahogany. Because of course it is. So what would folks like? Um, like I said, I can either continue fishing and um, I'm sure eventually you'll all get bored if you aren't already, or um, I can buzz up something else. Ooh, Tetra. Cute. I used to have quite a lot of Tetras. Uh, my dad was a, a fish fan. Particularly stressed, goth girl, but yes, you've got a point. It is a stressy game. Not supposed to be. Pondfish. Interesting. That's a river fish. That shouldn't be in the pond. Oh no, have I broken my pond? Oops. Gonna have to figure out what I've done there and see if I can fix it.
<laughs> the mighty river pond. Yeah, um, I did a little bit of terraforming um, yesterday and I relocated the pond and I think relocating it may have broken it. Cool. In that case, we're going on an adventure, folks. Where we're going, we don't need roads. We should get changed first, but there we go. Um, yeah, that's fine. This is where things go horribly wrong, isn't it? going to go and visit Hans, everybody. <laughs> I love the Dodo Airlines dodos. They're so cute. Pocket Guide appeared in the tent. Oh, is that the first pocket expansion, uh, Kian? I, like I said before, I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh right, yeah, you're in a different time zone to me. That's fine, Hans. We all have to start somewhere. It took me two hours to do my Squigland flag. Hey, look, it's Hans. Okay, Hans, take us on a tour. Um, I think the answer to that question graphically is that we've all been obsessively playing this since it came out and as a result have spent probably more time than is healthy um, playing it and organizing things. And oh my God, you have the elephant slide. I want an elephant slide for my little park. on them. Bordos, please stop chewing your feet. They will fall off. Hi! 
Biff. You're cute. Oh, he's still here. So, uh, this is Klaus's house, and Klaus is a jerk. So, Hans has penned him into his house so that he can't leave. <laughs> I really like your path, and your bridges are really nice too. I went for the cheap ones. He's really, really mean to the rest of the villagers graphically, so he's, uh, he's, as we would say, been sent to Coventry. Oh, Porthos is awake and stretchy. Yeah, he, he bullies the other villagers apparently and has been since he got here. He's not, not, not a very nice fella. Also, he wears a toga and he's not doing it Ironically, so. Oh, you've got like a little bit going down to your secret beach. Like it. Oops. <laughs> I have no idea what this is about, but I like it. Oh, um, ah, oh, that's where you're going to put your binoculars. Yeah, that makes sense. So where to next? Oh, I didn't bring a ladder. Oh, that's cute. I'm just going to have to look at it from up here. <laughs> Okie doke, Manimal. Thanks for joining us and have fun with the doggos. nice oh and there's the actual campsite yeah cool ah there was a way down Don't have my pole with me either. <laughs> oh yes, it's a very nice orchard. I like it. You're just showing off now with your pole vaulting skills. I'll just stay over here. Ah, this is Hans's house. This must be Hans's house. Oh, yours looks a lot bigger than mine. This wallpaper's nice. I like it. What you making?
Away! I'm gonna have a nosy. Oh, don't, don't, don't worry about it, Hans. It's fine. Um, I guess you can't drop stuff like that. Wow, this is really pretty. I like your wallpaper. Very nice. Oh, and you've got a little art set as well. That's so cute. Yes, I do like. And a book about bugs. Fab. <laughs> oh, Minnie. Oh, yeah, that's fab. I like that. That's a clever way of doing it. And I like your rug as well. You've just got a very nice little setup in here. It's good. And a lava lamp. You have a lava lamp. That's so cool. Mm. My sense of taste is of a specific type. Ah! See, I just dump all my turnips out front. <laughs> Had to take out the kitchen to keep your invest investments safe. Fab. It's, uh, it's looking nice, Hans. And you've got a little dog bed as well. That's cute. I like that. Are you going to put a snapping turtle next to it when you get one? This is as close to singing along as I can get. Are you sitting in the dog bed? <laughs> you have a very nice island hands. Shot. It's always important to take pictures when you visit your friends. Is there anything else you wanted to show me, Hans? Ah, uh, well, hopefully um, you'll be able to pay off your debts with your winnings from the stock market. Ah. Uh, no, Inquisitor. They all have different. Islanders. There's, I think, at this point, um, somewhere in the region of a couple of hundred different animals. And the first two you get are based on, like, a little personality quiz that you do at the beginning of the game. And then you get random ones um, on islands that you visit. Right, you'll see why in a second. It's been taking so long for hands to type things in this chat. As much as this is on something that has the ability to use like motion pointing rather than um, side scrolling, <laughs> I'm having to use the D pad to navigate through the letters. There's no stylus either, and I've actually got the um, switch plugged into the base at the moment, so even if I could use a stylus for it, um, I can't right now because the screen's unavailable. Uh, no, they don't work. The DS styluses don't work on the screen.
Oh, you may get poor for streaming sounds in a moment. we go oh that's a that, that's a lot of fossils <laughs> holy moly cool what you got there is something I'm looking for but I can't remember what it is um, yoink Thank you very much for the music. <laughs> Could you guys hear the Porthos dreams? Because he stopped now, but he was making little woofy noises. Um, also, uh, hey Duke. Um, yeah, I was just uh, leaving a note for Hans because he's been kind enough to show us around his island. Um, yeah, nice one. <laughs> just showing off your butterfly. Oh, I deliberately turned the microphone off um, on Porthos Cam because um, when he's chewing on his antler and stuff like that, it's really noisy. Just going to have a quick nosy in your shop. Um, no, Duke, he... Uh, so he, he makes little woofy sounds and like... Whoa! It's really cute. And sometimes he's just like, woof, in his sleep as well. I want to know what he's chasing in his dreams. You folks hear those? <laughs> Cute little woofy noises. Okay, one flower, pansy, tulip. Ah, oh, you've got the same stuff as me. That's a shame. Yeah. And you should be able to see him wiggling a little bit on um, Porthos cam as well. It's not my island though, Manimal, which means I can't do anything destructive on it. They've turned all those features off. Things aren't so bad. They buy weeds off of you. They'll buy anything. Dear God, what is that? Is that a chicken costume? Yes, they buy weed off of me. That's what happens when I give them a single uh, clump of weeds, right? It's a duck costume. Yeah, that makes more sense. Now I'm good. Are they sunglasses? Or are they actual? 
One weed, please. Um, I don't have one weed that I can give you folks. Sorry. Oh no! Hans is dead. Oh no, he's alright. He got better. Oh, look, goth girl. Hans is beach squirts too. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, there are uh, clams under the water. Not under the water, under the sand. Death is temporary. <laughs> yeah, so there are clams under the sand, and when there's a clam under the sand... Is it going to do it again? There it is. Um, it will squirt water out of the sand. Um, an earlier uh, goth girl asked me why my beach was squirting. I'm just gonna fish in foreign waters if that's okay with you. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's laws against it, but heck the popo. Yay! Good fish. I like how we are both super styling right now. I, I love Hans's shoes. Look at those shoes. They are good quality shoes. Oh, sorry. I won't say it again. Yeesh. Yeah, they're, they're very nice shoes. I never get anything like that. I just get these weird black work shoes in my shop. Any shoe is a beach shoe if you're brave enough. Oh, you were just showing off the emote, not being freaked out by me calling your shoes nice. Okay, that's good. Right, um, I am going to head back towards the airport. I like how everyone's got a fountain in the middle of like a little square of paving. It's like the universal symbol for a town centre, isn't it? Uh, where is the airport? It's over there. Oh, hey kicks. Do you have any nice shoes? Ooh, little clogs. Fabulous. And sparkly leggings. And a Death Stranding backpack. Ah, oh, do they have inbuilt leg warmers? That's delightfully garish. Yeah, the red shoes are cute, aren't they? I wonder if the clogs make a different noise to every other pair of shoes. The sequin leggings or the aerobics leggings, goth girl? That would be the aerobics leggings then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are kind of cool. I'm tempted. Nope, I need to save my money. If I want to... Um, thank you. That's very kind of you, Hans. <laughs> Squidwater Island. <laughs> Love it. I could do that. 
And no, shan't, goth girl. Can't make me. So there. Right. Oh, he's sweet. What's this fella's name? Have to wait until he's finished talking to Hans. It's rude to in inject yourself into a conversation that's already in progress. Hornsby. Oh, you're sweet. I like your sweater. <gasps> oh, you're like dizzy. Hans, I kind of want to steal Hornsby from you. Is that bad? Oh no, the, the more horrifying the better, goth girl. Keep going. You have a very lovely island, Hans. With a random garden gnome. Oh, he prefers quiet islands, does he? That's a shame. My island isn't very quiet. Ooh, somebody's in this house. I'm gonna go see if I can get a recipe before I leave. There's usually someone crafting on an island. Ooh, doggo! Hello, doggo! Good choice of um, town tune as well. Hands, I like it. Oh, Porthos has gone into old man snore mode, so uh, brace yourself for snoring sounds in the background. Yeah, she seems quite sweet though. Who's in here? A bunny rabbit! Whoa! An albino bunny rabbit! Hi, Ruby! You're new. I've not seen you before. Oh, she's a bit like Blue Bear in terms of her personality. Yeah, they have the exact same house. That's... That's weird. Like, down to the placement of the little pink vacuum cleaner and everything, she has the same house as Blue Bear. They're definitely personality twins, goth girl. Physically not so much. Do you think the size of all Animal Crossing islands in existence is the same as Earth or maybe even bigger? I'd say bigger. Um, because you've got quite a lot of space on your little island. Then you've got all the randomly generated islands to add on to that as well. Um, and then you've got every single player. And Animal Crossing is surprisingly popular. I... The amount of different people that play Animal Crossing that you wouldn't necessarily expect to play it as well. Staggering. Oh, like her dress. Why is it all the horses in this game are obsessed with fate? My surfboard. house is nice. I like this. Two million sold copies. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> they don't like horsing around. That was almost as bad as this game's fishing puns, Theo. Be proud of yourself. Right. Now, I think I shall head off. Um, 
and I said I was only going to stream for an hour. I've been streaming for two, two and nearly a quarter hours, so uh, I, I will probably, once I get back home, end it there, because um, I have a currently snoozling doggo who uh, needs some playtime, and I should probably eat some food. 1.88 million in the first three days and in Japan. Hot damn. That didn't go very well. But you got the message, didn't you, Hans? Eh, no worries. Yeah, that's, that's insane. I mean, I was a a uh, a day one buyer. I uh, I got mine through Amazon. I'm regretting it now because I pre-ordered mine, and I'll I'll put this on Porthos Cam so you folks can see it. So if you pre-ordered it through Nintendo directly, they sent you a set of collector's edition pins with like Isabel and Tom Nook and KK Slider on. I pre-ordered mine through Amazon. This is what I got for pre-ordering through Amazon. It's a lens cloth. I mean, it's adorable, but it's not pins. And I would love an Isabel pin, cuz. <laughs> what a bargain. Yeah, I know, right? I pre-ordered Animal Crossing through Amazon and all I got was this lousy lens cloth. Yeah, I would uh, I would have much preferred a pin with Isabel's head on because Isabel is best girl. I love her to bits. She's fucking adorable. <laughs> I might actually embroider into it, just like really tiny letters across the bottom so I can still use it to clean my glasses. Oh, I got miles for that. Fabulous. Right, it is still raining in Squidland. Today is not a cheery day in Squidland. So I'll put my raincoat back on. And let's go home. Hey, Holly Rose. Unfortunate timing, I'm afraid, as I'm about to finish up. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your lunch, though. Waddle on over here. I really need to move these trees. That's fair enough, Hans. Um, if you need any advice on getting it set up, then I'm happy to talk you through what I ended up doing with my cheap and cheerful capture card when you get one. Um, and if you're still looking for a capture card, um, then if you want some help with that, let me know. I'll uh, send you the link to one I bought. Because it's actually not too bad and... Oh, no! bright light don't like that um yeah it, it's not too bad and uh it was reasonably cheap in comparison to like the, the the main stuff you normally get right so i am home i am safe from the rain we've had a very eventful day doing lots of fishing and stuff and i think it's about time i had a nap so uh i'm gonna do that Thank you very much everybody for joining in. It's been absolutely fab and I'm extremely thankful to you all for, well, turning up for, you know, busy work. 
I hope you all had fun. Uh, I might do this again sometime if there's an event or something going off in Animal Crossing. Um, and if not, it will be back to point and clicks for next stream and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Stay safe, everybody. And uh, I'll catch you all next Sunday. Bye.